Now that you have an idea of what podcasts are and how to offer content to your students on iTunes U, it's time to start recording your audio and video for your podcast. Let's start off talking about audio. You obviously want to record the best quality audio if the majority of the podcast is going to be a recording of your voice. It's important to be aware that there are many microphone options out there, and depending on your needs, you may need to use one type over another. Before delving into the different types of microphones, it's important that you understand the factors that will result in the best quality of audio apart from microphone type or style. Two of the most important factors that you can focus on to get good audio are, one, the proximity of your mouth to the microphone, and two, the noise level of the ambience in your recording room. Depending on the circumstances, these factors can be fairly controllable. Now, obviously, if you're in a big lecture hall, your audio quality may suffer, but if you can take the time to record or re-record most of your audio in a small, soundproofed room with no distracting ambient noise, that's certainly more preferable. So, if you have the time, that's why I recommend to re-record and repackage your lecture material into a tighter, higher-quality podcast. So try to set yourself up in a small, quiet room. It's good to have as much soundproofing as possible, a room with a carpet is good, and you might want to hang blankets on the wall to help absorb sound. You also might want to stuff towels or other fabric under the door to eliminate any noise coming in from other areas of the building. Now, if you can't control the noise level in other areas, you may also want to record at a time of day when no one else is around. Now, sometimes this means recording very early in the morning or very late at night. And if you're working on a laptop, one possible location could even be inside your car inside a garage. This is kind of a natural sound booth, small, quiet, and has soft surfaces everywhere. The other factor is the proximity of the microphone to your mouth. Too often, people speak too far away or too close to the mic. Really, you want to be roughly four or five fingers away from the mic and speak in the mic at an angle. You also probably want to get a windscreen to try to eliminate as much popping from hard consonants as possible. 